Welcome to this video where I will be showing a fight at uh, NC Arsenal on Amerish. The fight will be between uh, uh, the Vanu Sovereignty, who is currently holding NC Arsenal, and the NC who are trying to uh, capture it. When we drop on the base it's mostly undefended and being attacked by a light force of uh, an inex an inexper inexperienced enemies uh, coming in mostly in uh, light vehicles, such as the lightnings and the harassers. So unfortunately I did not record the chatter on the TeamSpeak uh, channel that we are using in our uh, outfit to communicate, but I will try to give you some uh, explanations of what's going on and what the team is doing. So when we came in, A was being held by the enemy and the orders were to uh, cap it back and uh, destroy all the enemy forces that we were encountering, which we are now doing. The enemies have now captured C as you can see. But before attempting to move there, there are quite a few enemies that I have to clear out near the tower at the entrance of NC Arsenal. For those of you who are not familiar with the layout of the base, you have uh, three points A, B and C. A is a bit on the side and B and C are inside buildings near the entrance of the base uh, close to uh, the location where NC are coming from. NC are coming from the south, where they are holding a uh, amp station, I believe. So they have access to vehicles. At this point here, we have identified uh, they they have a Sunday located uh, at the entrance on the southern side, on the other side of the road. We are having difficulties getting to the Sunday through the base due to the uh, amount of infantry in the way. So what I'm trying to do here is to sneak on the Sunday, taking way around uh, down the hill on the south side. They also have a spawn beacon there and you can hear that uh, there are drop pods uh, currently dropping. So they have uh, two spawn points located at the same location happily, so taking them both of them at once shouldn't be too hard. Unfortunately I could not destroy the Sandy here because it had a armor, so a two stick of C4 is not enough and that's all I had on me. So at this point I'm really just uh, waiting for someone else in my squad to come and finish the job and try to destroy any enemies that uh, are in the way and might prevent us from destroying the Sunday. Unfortunately the enemy is uh, actively uh, repairing the Sunday constantly and uh, even throwing uh, aircraft at the Sunday uh, isn't enough to destroy the Sunday. I tried to kill the engineers repairing the, the Sunday but uh, I didn't have enough firepower all by myself to achieve this. So here I'm trying the same thing again, but instead of going uh, uh, on my own, I asked uh, a teammate to follow me. So now we are two light assaults with uh, two sticks of C4 each, and that's more than uh, should be needed to destroy any Asunder, uh, regardless of the amount of armor. So it's the same tactic as before, taking the same path down the hill on the south side. Being a bit overly cautious here, my uh, teammate's uh, decimation has uh, gone directly for the Sunday, and when I'm stuck on the on the rock here, he gets the kill on the Sunday. Mission accomplished. That's nice. Now all we have to do is to kill the few remaining infantry that are left here. I'm a little bit surprised to see an enemy spawn here now, I'm not sure exactly how and why he spawned now and here, but 
is dead nevertheless. So new situation, the enemy is still progressing, they don't have a spawn point anymore on the south, but they are inside the base near B and C and they have tanks there. Our squad is gathered around B and uh, has a, a front line of sorts uh, at this location. So we're doing our best to contain the enemy, but you can see that A and uh, both A and C are contested. If you wonder what that was, that's the leader channel, uh, which is used by uh, squad leaders to uh, to communicate across a faction across all continents. The information that you get here, that you get from this channel, is uh, usually very useful uh, uh, during alerts and such. But uh, outside of this time, you. You will hear a bit of everything there. It can be a bit irritating sometimes when you are hearing these voices while you are trying to fight at the same time. Meanwhile, the enemy had an armor here that I just destroyed or helped destroy. I noticed I'm not capping the point despite the fact that I'm at the point, so that must mean there is another enemy close to the point and preventing me from capping it. Uh, here was one. Happily my teammates took care of him. I also have a dart. Uh, here you see it on, against the rock which helps us identify uh, all enemy positions. They had the sandy part in the hills behind A here. But now they no longer have uh, any spawn point there so A is ours. What's very nice about this battle is that we constantly have a uh, action going on. Despite the fact that we are doing pretty well and uh, capturing and defending points, there is a, a constant stream of uh, enemies shooting at us. Uh, which means the, the task is uh, sufficiently challenging to be enjoyable. So we know we are now holding A and B, we are trying to get back C. There's still quite a few enemies there and you can see that there is a spawn beacon there. So we need to take care of that before we attempt to do anything. There's an enemy here, I can hear him, but I don't want to take the the main entrance so to speak and uh, maybe surprised so I go around in an attempt to flank the enemy and sure enough I run into enemy quick uh, quick enough battle is still going on we're still fighting to get back control over C we don't need it strictly speaking because we are recapping the base anyway with uh, with two points two points is enough but of course we want just to to and this battle and remove all enemy presence. We've successfully defended the facility. So regarding the way I engage my enemies, it's maybe something you will notice in this video a couple of times, is that I usually go for the safe uh, aiming at uh, the upper body and relying on the volume of fire to, to kill my enemies. But in situations when I'm, I'm low on health or I don't have shields, I switch to uh, uh, the only tactics get, that can save you in this situation and it consists of uh, aiming for the head. There's a pretty good sense that you will miss, especially if you're moving and your enemy is moving and you're being shot at the same time. But it's the only hope you have to kill your enemy before he kills you, since you are hope, uh, since you are low, low on health. Back to the action. Enemies are doing a push towards C. 
towards B actually, they are holding C and they have a heavy tank there, heavy uh, infantry presence on, on B. And they're also holding A, so things are not looking too good. And you can see also on the Amherst population that uh, globally the enemy has uh, more population and on the base they have about uh, twice as many uh, uh, soldiers as we have here. So they have quite a heavy presence on, on NC Arsenal. Nevertheless, we're still doing quite okay, uh, destroying uh, all the new spawn points uh, as they bring new Sundays. In general, I think the players on the Vanu side were a bit more experienced, uh, a whole lot more experienced as you can see as the uh, opposition on the NC side uh, composed mostly of new players who are probably still uh, having trouble with the controls. Any other squad on Emmerich now? There was a max shooting at me, took all my shields and all my health, almost. Those things are deadly. At this point I'm uh, convinced I'm going to die very quickly, but... That's why you can see that aiming for the head can still help you get a few kills before going down. situation still uh, looks uh, serious, uh, the enemies has all the points, we still have 4 minutes and a half though to capture back the points, so there's no need to panic. to take back A which we're doing now so there's no need for me to go direct to the point instead I'm enemy keeping an eye on enemies that might come our way A is taken back and we're moving towards B and C quite a few uh, enemies at the entrance again as you could see other enemies moving around B and C. I couldn't really make sense exactly of how the enemy was moving. It was a bit uh, chaotic, I think. And they might have done much better if they had moved in a more organized way and in a group. Here I'm letting the uh, the Max taking care of the, the door where I was shooting at at first. He has much more firepower than I have. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how another single shot that I sent his way could uh, hit this medic here, but... I'm playing with the Sirius, a... Uh, this is an SMG, a submachine gun. It has a bit more recoil uh, than the other SMG, the Eridani. So it's uh, not as good as the Eridani for this kind of uh, mid-range fights. It's excellent as short range, as you will see. Again, here I wasn't expecting to survive this encounter. <laughs> Indeed, I die quick enough, but I did take down the max. Emptying uh, a uh, clip uh, to his head. So, a new bird's uh, view of the situation. We're capping C, we have B, and there's a fight going on in A. Uh, the enemy is doing a max crash on A. I couldn't uh, 
I couldn't be there on time, unfortunately. Most of my teammates uh, took care of the max crash and killed mo most of the crashes, most of the maxes. I'm really just here to help uh, clear out the only remaining max here. Chasing our max. I'm not playing with the Zui Max. This is a standard Max, so uh, I'm uh, moving slowly and I have a, a regular uh, firepower. We'll certainly try the Zui uh, pretty soon. I'm still waiting a little bit because uh, there are quite a few reports of the Zui being uh, overly powerful, so I'm afraid that. Uh, Sony is going to uh, reduce its uh, effectiveness once uh, the weapon is a bit uh, has reached its uh, final state. I think I will start spending my search on it if it's still interesting. Meanwhile, the traditional Max with its uh, uh, rush feature is still uh, doing quite well and even regular firepower is uh, enough to deal with uh, enemy infantry. Playing very safely here, I have an engineer by my side uh, taking care of preparing me. So I'm quite content with just spamming fire towards the objective and uh, killing uh, enemies coming my way. We now have a pretty firm grip on uh, A and B, and we also have players uh, who are going to do a push on C pretty soon. I'm not getting many kills here, but I'm still sending quite a bit of fire in this general direction there and I think the enemy has noticed me and they are a bit worried about uh, running in the open here and trying to put pressure on us. Which in turn means that we can push and get C. We have a, a little group of enemies that are surviving uh, as well as they can against the wall here, but uh, they are soon going to be uh, wiped out. Victory is at hand. At this point we have captured all the points, there is no more enemies left in the base so they are trying to do a new push using an armor column uh, spawning from the, the satellite of the M station nearby. The thing is however is that we gathered pretty quickly on the, on the entrance on the roadside here. Uh, you can see that most of my teammates are gathered there. We have more people uh, just firing everything they have towards the road and uh, the gate here at the exit of the of the M station. And all these vehicles never managed to make it very far. Using a mixed setup here, anti vehicle with uh, my uh, right arm and uh, anti aircraft on my left arm. There isn't much aircraft going around, but should the enemy spawn more, more aircraft or start being dangerous with its uh, air force, uh, I have something to at least uh, delay an attack. 
and prevent them from uh, farming us on the ground here. I need this damage repair. Enemy Sunderer spotted. You can see the rest, the rest of the squad is doing quite well. Using its uh, rockets and uh, anti vehicle maxes to destroy any vehicle that comes its way. I need enemy light. My thanks. Spotted a hostile. We don't want to push too far, though. We are not leaving the, the outposts here. The M station is a bit uh, too big of a fight for us. Too many enemies there. The fight here, uh, firing uh, rockets at the enemy, went for a very long time. I had to cut significant parts of it. I think the error that the enemy is doing here is that they are not really daring to rush out. They should do a, ma a massive rush at once with uh, with Sundays uh, in order to. Uh, Put some pressure on us. Even though they would lose most of them just staying at the gate there and trying to take shots at, at us doesn't work. They don't have nearly enough firepower, fire volume to to really worry us. Here's what I was talking about, I'm just making sure that any aircraft that's flying, flying by doesn't stay there, doesn't get the opportunity to uh, hoover and uh, start unloading uh, rocket boats at us. This is the last segment, uh, after this uh, long period of time shooting at vehicles on the cliff, they did manage to sneak up on us using infantry using drop pods, which is uh, really well done on them. They have taken back A and B, and we are actually about to leave this fight and uh, move to a bio lab that we are losing nearby, which is uh, deemed to be a higher priority target. So I don't know how, their, uh, how the fight went. I noticed when we were at the bio lab that we lost the NC Arsenal in the end. But it was a, a very uh, long and fun fight for us at least. Thank you for watching, and if you want uh, more of these kind of videos uh, showing battles with a little commentary on my side, uh, stay tuned, there will be more coming.